In today's video, our focus will be on the subject of feeding methods, specifically breast and bottle feeding. When it comes to nourishing your baby, two primary options are breastfeeding and formula feeding. Both methods provide essential nutrition for your little one's growth and development. In this discussion, we will explore the key aspects of breastfeeding and formula feeding, providing factual information about each approach and examining the differing perspectives surrounding these feeding methods. Breastfeeding offers a multitude of benefits that contribute to the optimal nutrition and well-being of both mother and baby. First and foremost, breast milk is nature's perfect food for infants, containing essential nutrients, antibodies, and enzymes that promote healthy growth and development. The composition of breast milk adapts to meet the changing needs of the growing baby, providing a unique balance of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Furthermore, Breastfeeding fosters a profound bonding experience between mother and baby, establishing a deep emotional connection through skin-to-skin -skin contact, eye contact, and the act of nursing. This closeness promotes feelings of security, comfort, and trust for both mother and infant. In addition to the nutritional and bonding benefits, breastfeeding offers remarkable health advantages. Breast milk contains antibodies that help protect infants against various infections, reducing the risk of respiratory illnesses, ear infections, and gastrointestinal disorders. It has also been associated with a lower incidence of chronic conditions later in life, such as obesity, diabetes, and certain allergies. For mothers, breastfeeding has been linked to a decreased risk of postpartum depression, certain types of cancer, and osteoporosis. Overall, breastfeeding provides an unmatched combination of nutrition, bonding, and health benefits for both mother and baby, making it an invaluable choice for infant feeding. Breastfeeding can come with its share of challenges for some mothers. Common difficulties include latching issues, nipple soreness, low milk supply, and engorgement. It may take time for both mother and baby to establish a comfortable breastfeeding routine and seeking support from lactation consultants or support groups can be beneficial in overcoming these challenges. We will delve deeper into the topic of breastfeeding challenges and provide practical tips and advice in another video to help mothers overcome these obstacles and ensure a successful breastfeeding journey. So, stay tuned. Formula feeding is a method of nourishing infants with commercially prepared infant formula as a substitute for breast milk. This feeding option provides a viable alternative for mothers who are unable or choose not to breastfeed. Formula feeding offers precise control over the quantity and composition of each feeding, ensuring that the baby receives the necessary nutrients for growth and development. It allows multiple caregivers to participate in feeding, providing flexibility and convenience for busy parents. While it may lack some of the immune-boosting properties of breast milk, Modern infant formulas are carefully formulated to mimic the nutritional content of breast milk as closely as possible, promoting healthy growth and meeting the nutritional needs of the baby. However, it's important to consult with healthcare professionals to choose the appropriate formula and ensure proper preparation and feeding practices for the baby's well-being. When it comes to feeding your baby, understanding the nutritional aspects is crucial. Breast milk is a dynamic and personalized source of nutrition, providing a balance of essential nutrients tailored to your baby's needs. On the other hand, formula feeding offers carefully crafted formulas that strive to mimic the composition of breast milk. Recognizing hunger and satiety cues and practicing responsive feeding is important in both feeding methods to ensure the baby's nutritional needs are met. When it comes to feeding choices, there are various societal and personal factors at play. Cultural norms, maternal health considerations, and the availability of support systems can all influence a mother's decision to breastfeed or formula feed. Stay tuned for a deeper exploration of the societal and personal factors involved in infant feeding. In conclusion, it's important to acknowledge that breastfeeding and formula feeding can nourish and contribute to a healthy start for your baby. The decision between the two methods is a personal one, influenced by various factors and individual circumstances. Remember, regardless of the feeding method chosen, the love and care provided by parents are fundamental to a baby's overall development and growth. We appreciate your viewership. 
Don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the Oversharing Mum channel. Stay connected for more content covering a wide range of motherhood, pregnancy, birth, babies, and parenting topics.